Hello golfers, I'm Greg Jones, Greg the Golf Guy. And I've got some tips here that's going to help improve your golf game, lower your scores by improving your swing. We've been talking in the past about the quarter and the half swing. And now we want to get to the three quarter because the way I think of a golf swing is in levels. Level one, two, three, and four. So we have a quarter, half, three quarter, and four. By building the golf swing from the ground up, we're going to build a solid swing that we have repeatability with and that we understand. So what I want to do is I'm going to review the quarter and the half swing real quick, and then I want to get to the three-quarter swing, the level three swing. At a dress position, again, we want our feet nice and square to our target. We start off with the club in a capital letter Y position. You want a quarter swing, we want to think of our body now as a clock, 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 3 o'clock. We push the club away from the left side to 7.30. From this position, I want to get into the half swing. All I simply do now so I let that right arm just bend up, and I bring that club parallel with my toes. So when I let that right arm just bend up, and now my club's parallel with my toes, that means my club's on plane. And that also means that my takeaway was correct. And I just bent that right arm straight up, I didn't put much into it. So I didn't try to swing or flip the golf club, I simply just pushed it away to a quarter, kept it going to a half. So now I'm in a half swing. To get to the three quarter swing, all I simply want to do is continue raising the golf club until the left arm is parallel to the ground and I'm going to give myself a soft hinge. I'm going to keep bringing that up and a soft hinge. Now again, thinking of my body as a clock, I want my left hand now right in line with 11 o'clock. So I'm going to push this club away to the half and keep going with a soft hinge. That's going to allow my swing to stop right at 11 o'clock. So as I push the club away, I want a quarter swing to 7.30. Right arm bends in the side, I'm to nine. Lift the club until my left arm is parallel to the ground. With a soft hinge, is going to finish the back swing. So I want to make sure that I get that type of takeaway and that type of positioning. What happens is most golfers, they just kind of swing a golf club. What I want to do is I want to understand that I'm not just swinging a golf club, I'm understanding what a back swing is. A back swing is simply a placement of the follow through. And the way we want to look at it is called a precisionly placed follow-through. We take the word back swing, and that gives us an indication we're supposed to swing it that way. There's no ball here. There's no power going the wrong direction. What we have to do is we have to place the club so we can make the follow-through the same way twice. So as I take this golf club away, I want to push the club away past quarter, bend the right arm into half, take the club continually up, and hinge it to a three-quarter. As soon as I hinge it, I want to stop right there right there in that position. Now, on the follow-through side, what I'm simply going to do is to make the follow-through, I'm going to drop the club back down in that half-swing position, throw the club head through, and I'm going to stop with my arms right over here on the finish side at 1 o'clock, and the shoulders, the hips, and the knees are now finishing the golf swing. So as I swing through, I want to be able to get more control. And this control is going to be because I have a little shorter swing, I'm able to control it a little bit better. So now I'm going to get more consistent on my shots. So quarter to half to three quarters, drop throw, and now I'm finishing a three quarter swing. What you'll see a lot is Tiger Woods using this three quarter swing out there on tour. We get much better control, better ball flights, and number one, more consistent distance control. The number one most important thing when you're a golfer so when you're a golfer, you got direction. You got to make sure that you're hitting the distance you want. So, providing you know, every time you get up, you try to hit a ball as far as you can, we're going to be really inconsistent on distance. So, I have a little rule in my golf game. I never use a full swing on an approach shot. And the reason I don't is because I can't control the distance as well on a full shot as I can a three-quarter shot or a half shot. Let me demonstrate this three-quarter shot. So you can take a look at it and see what you think. I always bring the club down to finish it so that I can see where the toe is pointing at. That toe is always going to point exactly where the ball just went. So I want to make sure that I'm able to get this type of swing and repeat it each and every time. The problem with most golfers are is when we get ready to swing, we put too much into it. We don't position it. We don't move it. We say we want to be consistent. In order to be consistent, what we have to do is we have to have repeatability and understand what the word consistency means. Consistency is a recipe that produces a result. The recipe that I have here 
is level three swing, three quarter, three quarter, to 11 o'clock to one o'clock. Let me demonstrate it again. That's right where I want to finish. That's the shot that I want. If you work on this, and you get that level one, two, and now get level three, your golf game is going to improve. It's going to start reaching the level of play that you always wanted your golf game to be at. Keep working hard on this. I know I make it look easy, but this is very difficult, and it's really time consuming to get this down the way that you need to get it down. If you ever have any questions, please feel free to email me. guy at gmail.com. You see it right there on the website. But I sure appreciate you watching, and I hope the information helps you lower your scores and helps you become a better golfer.